Hi everyone. Welcome to Polite Pups Academy. I am dog trainer Loretta Holmberg. Today we are going to discuss impulse control for dogs. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please click below and definitely like this video too. So what does impulse control mean? Impulsivity is acting on a whim with little forethought or consideration of the consequences. Lack of impulse control in humans can have detrimental effects, right? Such as gambling or drug abuse, amongst many things. But in dogs, impulsivity often results in behaviors like running out of the door anytime they get a chance, or stealing food from the counter, also known as counter surfing. Dogs have many strengths far beyond our scope of perception and comprehension sometimes, but they don't have forethought or self-reflection like people do. Dogs are opportunists and they do what works best for them in the moment. But we can teach our dogs that certain situations require them to wait and be patient. And this is through teaching them and doing the process of repetition for the same exercise so that when they are in a situation where it's triggered by a word or something that happens, they know exactly how to react because we've already taught them how to practice their impulse control so that they can teach, so that they can be safe. We need to teach our dog to be safe. But first, what are the signs that they need impulse control training? It's probably a good idea to teach your dog a few impulse control exercises if your dog does any of these. Charges that open front door and just bolts out, right? Hardly waits until the car door is open before rushing to exit. Pulls on the leash, runs to greet people and other animals at full speed and sometimes jumping on them snatches treats from your hands or on the floor, puts everything that it sees in its mouth, chases cats or other little creatures like the squirrels, for example. That's always a good activity to do impulse control training um, in front of a cat or a squirrel. Teaching impulse control can be fun and it is a great way to bond with your dog. In the upcoming days and weeks, I will be sharing with you various impulse control exercises and how to work on these with your dog. So in this video, you will see a couple of different exercises that I've already done with my dog um, to see what they look like, what impulse control can look like with a dog that's already trained. All right, so here are some of the examples. Making your dog wait for their food or high value treats like the doggy ice cream. Leave it. Leave it. We're gonna go for ten seconds. Uh, leave it. Leave it. I said, okay. Teaching your dog place so they don't bolt out of an open car door, for example. So I had put her in place, right, in the car. And then she's got to stay there. And she's staying right there. She didn't move. She could, didn't come out of the car. She could have, right? But she's obeying place command right there. Awesome job. Latte, good job. Teaching them the stay command so that they hold a stay even when there is another dog around that they want to play with. Okay, so I'm still in his uh, down stay. It's like kids on bikes and pippin. Stick around, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Also be sure to click on that bell so that you will be notified when a new video is released on this impulse control series where I teach you how to work your dog on the various exercises. See you soon everyone!